All right, this is a viewer challenge where I do challenge you for, um, after having watched some of my old videos, uh, Angle of Elevation and Angle of Depression, now I'm going to push you a little bit and um, we'll see if you can figure these out. I have a set of three story problems for you to do. You're going to be given a right triangle situation and use a trig function to solve. Let's take a look. All right, I want you to read these three. And on a piece of paper, um, recommend you draw out a right triangle and label all the numbers that you know. And see if you can answer the question. So go ahead. All right, taking a look at number one. It says that it's a 20-foot ladder. So that's the actual length of the ladder leaning against the wall. So that should be the hypotenuse of this right triangle. It's eight feet from the base of the building, the base of the ladder. So that must be this leg right here. What angle does the ladder make with the ground? All right. So what are you going to do? Well, notice that you're looking for an angle. So we are going to use an inverse trig function. But let's figure out which trig function first of all. From this reference angle right here that we're looking for, this is the hypotenuse and this is the adjacent. So which trig function uses the adjacent leg and the hypotenuse? Yes, we're going to be using cosine. So cosine of x equals adjacent over hypotenuse. All right, let's divide that out. 8 over 20 is about, well, it's exactly 0.4. And so now what we do is we input 0.4 into the calculator and we look for inverse cosine. That's cosine minus 1. Now I don't see it here, but you have to check your own calculator. But either it's a shift button or an inverse button. On this one, it's the shift button. And there it is. I'm going to press cosine minus 1. And whoops, I lost my value. Let me try that again. 0.4 cosine minus 1. Inverse cosine is 66.4 degrees. All right, so 66.4 degrees rounded. All right, so that's the idea. Use the inverse function if you're looking for an angle and use just the regular function value to find the length of the side. All right, let's look at 2 and 3. All right, looking at number 2, you can see the answer is 31 degrees, but how do we get that? Now we have to label our triangle very carefully on this one. A 50 meter vertical tower. So let's say that this is the tower, 50 meters straight up. It does form a right angle with the ground. We're going to have to assume that. Now this is the cable here. That's the hypotenuse of that right triangle. And it's tied 30 meters from the base of the tower. So that leg right there is 30. What angle does the cable form from or with the vertical tower? That's actually this angle right here. All right, the angle of the cable with the vertical tower. All right, so this is our reference angle here, x. Now, what trig function are we going to use? The 50 represents the adjacent leg. The 30 represents the opposite leg, so that is going to be tangent. So tangent of our x angle is going to be opposite over adjacent 30 over 50 which is 0.6 all right now let's grab our calculator and do the inverse tangent function input 0.6 i'm going to hit the shift button and find tangent minus one that's the inverse tangent and there's our angle 30.963. Let's go ahead and call that 31 degrees. And there you go. All right, 31 degrees from the cable to the tower. All right, moving on to number three. All right, let's label our parts here. We have a 50 foot tree. And we want to know. All right, we want to find the height of the tree. So that vertical leg right there represents the tree height. And we are um, 53 degrees for the angle of elevation, looking up to the top of the tree. And we are 50 feet away from the tree on the ground. So there's our triangle. Now what function do we use? 
Well, here's our reference angle, 53 degrees. And the x leg represents opposite. The 50 represents adjacent. Once again, it's the tangent function. So we're going to do tangent of 53 degrees equals opposite over adjacent. So by cross multiplying, I'm going to get my answer x is going to be the tangent of 53 degrees times 50. All right, let's put in 53, and we are going to just press the tangent key, 1.32 and so on. Multiply that by 50, 66.35. All right, that is the course answer I had here, 66.35 feet. All right, thanks so much. This is viewer challenge number two when it comes to angles of depression and elevation and look for the third one for more practice and it is a really good exercise in drawing the right triangle and labeling the parts so you can figure it out using a trig function thanks for watching